PC was kid here with something new from AS Rock, the B450M Steel Legend. So from the Steel Legend series of motherboards, I've got here an AMD version, the Micro ATX size specifically, and uh, well, it has lots of different support and features which we're going to look at more in detail. First things first, let's open up the box and see what's inside. We've got, uh, as you can see here, the quick installation guide, so all about the hardware and how to install it. Software setup guide, of course, for the AS Rock utilities and tools that it comes with here in this CD. Okay, very handy. And of course, we've got here an additional piece of uh, literature on the memory modules installation configuration. I have here two screws for the M.2 uh, NVMe SSDs that you can install, for example, and there's some SATA cables as well, as you would expect, coming in the box. So you've got uh, two of those. And a uh, nice I.O. shield plate that you'll install at the back of your case. You can see right there, this is a heavy-duty one. Very nice graphic design on it. Take a closer look at that. And that's pretty much it in the box. So let's go ahead now, look at the specs on this baby. You can see here the CPU type. Obviously, different AM4 Ryzen CPUs and older ones as well. That's the beauty about this. Supporting the B450 chipset, you're going to be able to really push to the limit uh, some of the Ryzen series CPUs up to 3533 megahertz overclock on memory on the DDR4. So that would be nice to see. I'm going to do a part two video and overclock some memory and see how high we can get. 64 gigs of that maximum, by the way. Now, when it comes to those expansion slots, there's three PCI Express slots. You can see there, 3.0. Uh, the first one, 16x, second one, 8, and then the third, 4x but of course depending on the configuration the uh, second PCI slot might run at 4x okay so keep that in mind there on those specs and uh, four SATA 3 uh, connectors as you can see right there it mentions also the one ultra M.2 socket which is very nice and one regular M.2 socket for your NVMe SSD as well further down the list we've got the onboard video chipset should you get an integrated graphics um, type of uh, processor. Otherwise, uh, let's look at the audio chipset there, the ALC892, the Realtek, supporting 7.1 channels of audio, terrific, and the Realtek RTL111H, which is that your gigabit LAN right there on that one, okay? And at the back of the case, we're going to look at all of these input and output ports. Again, I like the fact that they've added the USB 3.1 Generation 2 type C. Okay, a lot of new boards supporting that these days and AS Rock spares no expense on that, including all of these other connectors relating to your RGB uh, headers, right? Whether you have addressable RGB or RGB. Um, I do like the fact that this board supports obviously setting up your color coordination with the polychrome sync and, uh, you know, having all your different uh, components synchronized uh, together with whatever color combo uh, and uh, effects that you want. And, and they talk about that here at the back of the box as well. One thing uh, that I like to point out as well is those huge aluminum alloy heat sinks on the VRMs there at the top. Okay, those are very nice, lightweight, very solid construction. They've got a stainless steel look to this board, obviously. You can see here the layout. Pause the screen at any time if you want to see this more in detail, but we're going to do a flyby now on the board. So again, you've got your nice alloy heat sinks at the top there. You can see them on the side with the steel legend going across. Very nice. Great graphics on that. And uh, the stainless steel look and feel is very nice as well. You've got your PCI Express slot there with the metal uh, cover. And uh, well, what can I say? I mean, AM4 socket, this takes you a long way. Not just older generation CPUs, but newer ones as well. The um, quality capacitors and construction is always something that I look for in a board, right? We want to be able to overclock easily things, and that is evident here. We've got lots of fan connectors, lots of support for uh, water cooling, uh, and your all-in-one liquid cooling solutions. So that's really good. No uh, problems with insufficient amount of fan header. So I'm happy to uh, report that that was good to see. Um, so again, the uh, Nichicon Fine Gold... Uh, capacitors is a nice addition okay so I like the fact that the steel legend has higher quality capacitors on there the ultra m2 socket there is nice and you've got two m.2 so you have room to grow uh, at the bottom there you've got all the different headers there for your USB your audio and there's those golden capacitors that I was telling you about those higher quality ones 
and uh, like I said, it's good to see that ASRock is adding that. Now at the back here, you've got your two USB uh, regulars with the PS2 port, you've got DisplayPort HDMI, you've got USB 3.1s, you've got the Type C that I mentioned a second ago, your your uh, gigabit LAN and your audio. Okay, so very nice. And here's a look at the back of the board in case you're wondering about that one as well. Okay, so when it comes to installation, um, I've got a combination of Cooler Master hardware that I'm going to make uh, work here when it comes to the RGB, the lighting, the addressable RGB, all of that stuff uh, from the ASRock. B450M Steel Legend board. We're going to slap in there a Ryzen 5 CPU, and I did research on a CPU that uh, needs, uh, you know, some considerable tweaking according to people, that it's very uh, difficult to get to uh, 4 gigahertz or even higher without increasing the voltage uh, over 1.4 volts, which I think is kind of uh, insane. I mean, I don't want to unnecessarily start running this at 1.45 volts. Uh, you know, just to get the 4 gigahertz. So I'm uh, really going to be showing you here overclocking that CPU. Now here it is, the uh, board installed. After I put in the uh, IO plate, you can see how nice this looks in there with the Ryzen 5 CPU. I put in the 1500X, okay, that's the uh, CPU in there. I put a Viper M.2 uh, SSD, you can see it right there, and the Cooler Master liquid cooling and it looks beautiful. I'm going to be adding two sticks of memory in here. I'm just uh, installed one just for now just to get things up and running so you can see it. Hassle-free, no errors, no problems getting this up and running. I tell you, it was a breeze. I'm very happy to report that. Now, I'm going to do a separate video on installing the liquid cooler and all of that stuff. This is specifically to talk about the Steel Legend and its features. Now, when it comes to the RGB, you can control some of the lighting effects through the UEFI, you know, the BIOS itself, or through the software. Now in the BIOS, you can see here the Ryzen 5 1500X has been overclocked to 4 GHz. How? Well, I just set the frequency, the megahertz there, to 4000. Left everything pretty much on auto. Um, increased the voltage, though, to 1.381, as you can see, and put the load line calibration to its highest level, which is 5, level 5. Other than that, I left everything else at auto and uh, I changed the CPU configuration to uh, disable the cool and quiet so that there's no throttling going around. So it's consistently running at 4 gigahertz at 1.381 volts, not at 1.45 volts like I've seen all these other reviewers going crazy increasing the voltage unnecessarily. Maybe they had bad motherboards, I don't know what it is. But on this board, on the ASRock B450M, hassle-free overclocking to 4 gigahertz from 3.5 gigahertz which is the default. So I was really pleased, didn't have any problems. It's, it's you know, not crazy overclocking, it's smart overclocking, right? And this board makes it happen. What can I say? I mean, the quality components and construction obviously makes it easy. Now, when it comes to full load temperatures, well, 60 degrees Celsius, you know, roughly is the maximum that it achieved at four gigahertz running full blown. You know, that's pretty darn good. And on uh, idle, roughly about 25 degrees Celsius to 28. It just depends on your ambient temperature, how hot your room is, right? But uh, that gives you a good idea. I mean, I ran the, the test here to make sure that I could try to make this thing to hang and it would just not hang. It's stable like a rock. Now here are some more benchmarks that show basically it running at four gigahertz and how it compares to these other CPUs. So you can see how well um, it's showing this processor on the ASRock B450M Steel Legend very impressive results considering that I didn't really have to do anything to overclock it. It was very easy. So I don't know what other people were complaining about the 1500X and not being able to uh, uh, get it to um, work under 1.4 volts. It's working just fine. Here are some more benchmarks on the CPU Mark 11190. Uh, as you can see how it uh, lies and compares um, with con with respect to the other CPUs. It's, it's, it's lying right in between the Intel Core i5 and the Intel Core i7. So very nice, very solid results. They're consistent. You can see here that it compares to an Intel Core i7 uh, 4790K, I guess, or a 770. Uh, you know, not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, you could also overclock through the software. The uh, ASRock A tuning uh, software here does allow you to do overclocking through that as well. So if you're not comfortable going through the uh, UEFI screens and setting that up, you could do it through here. Of course, for me, I prefer going through the BIOS, through the uh, UEFI screens instead. But uh, I like the system info. I like the, uh, the fan auto-tuning feature. They call it the fantastic tuning. 
and uh, that allows you also to um, set things uh, to turn on uh, at certain levels and uh, well like I said at the beginning I love the fact that we're still using the AM4 socket so brand new board latest generation still can use older chips or the latest chips so that's great overclocking to 3533 megahertz on the memory is something that I love I love to see that working and I'm gonna try it next in part two you can see here also the PCI Express slots lots of movement there for upgrading and great overclocking results thanks to these power chokes the quality capacitors and construction that come with this board you can see here that it kept temperatures down and um, well the RGB uh, LEDs are terrific I mean you saw the colors there they were really nice everything color coordinated running uh, basically right now on, on a rainbow mode but uh, I'm gonna do a separate video on the um, on the water cooler here and uh, setting up the uh, the fans of this case on this cooler master case so we can uh, have a separate uh, walkthrough on how to configure all of that as well but the board itself solid construction great results definitely recommend it from AS Rock comment below let me know what you think about this board is it something that you're interested what is it that you'd like to see from uh, AS Rock and and this board and uh, what are the features that you like the most I like to thank AS Rock for providing it and thank you for watching <laughs>